Well, hi there. The next project that I'm going to be undertaking is a little project that has been on the books for quite a while now, but I couldn't have tackled it without uh, my good neighbor, Paul. Uh, I don't have the welding capacity or the metal cutting capacity that was going to be needed for this next project. Uh, so Paul was uh, a neighbor here in Ranch Cordova at uh, Aspen Grove RD Park, and I couldn't have done this without him. So let's take a look at what Paul and I worked on next. So one of the things about the motorhome, our 2003 Allegro bus that's always kind of bugged me, is the steep stairs that we have getting in. Now it's 24 inches from the outside edge of the threshold to where the top step is, 24 inches horizontally. The steps down here are eight inches deep. So logic is, is that you should be able to have two eight inch steps going up to the landing rather than one 12 inch step followed by the landing step of 12 inches. So I'm gonna put in, uh, gonna rearrange the staircase here so that it goes from an eight inch entryway deep to an eight inch deep second step to an eight inch deep third step going up to the landing. So we're gonna pull this up and see what we got underneath and go from there. It could be a real squirrel cage or I could get lucky, we'll see. Now that I've pulled the carpet out, I see that so far it's just a plywood box, but uh, time will tell. So what I've found out is that it is my biggest fear, which it's not bad, it's just gonna be more work. Um, it's plywood over a steel box, so I'll have to pull the plywood out. I'm kind of running out of daylight today, but uh, I'll have to pull the plywood out and then cut the steel box that's underneath it to make, uh, to readjust things so that I can redo this. So it'll be fine. It's just uh, gonna require a little bit of, a little bit of work, but it'll all come out in the end. So now you can see what I mean by the steel box that uh, makes up the stair riser there. And uh, we'll cut that out probably with a cutter or um, a sawzall or a torch or something. And uh, then we'll rebuild. Well, I've now pulled all the carpet out of the side. There was a piece of plywood over there like there is over here. I'm pulling the uh, plywood out and then we'll uh, work on cutting the uh, uh, metal so that we can rearrange this. So that's what it looks like after we Paul got it cut out, so made good progress. <laughs> Well, all the grinding's done and the cutout, so we got the uh, old piece taken out of there and now we're gonna put in the, the two new pieces. Well, so there's the uh, reworked cabinet for the new staircase. And I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, here's what's gonna make it all better. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. No, just kidding. 
I'm going to work on building um, stairs this weekend and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm getting ready to spray the uh, stairwell cabinet with bed liner. I've done the uh, caulking to fill in some of the low spots and uh, now we're going to put some bed liner spray in there to protect the metal from rusting and I'm also going to do it underneath uh, probably not today but another day for sure so here's what the stairway looks like after I put some bed liner on it now I'm going to start lining it with plywood so that uh, I can start to uh, encase it and also uh, provide some dampening of noise now this panel was in here originally when the old step was in there so you got to shape senses to what the old step shape was like I'm gonna fill in that corner with um, a piece of plywood that was cut from the other side and then I've got another piece of scrap plywood that I'm gonna use to fill in that hole as well as that hole so uh, but I'm I'm happy with the fact I was able to reuse that one as well because the holes were already cut for the lights so I'm uh, putting in the various screws here so I couldn't find any self drilling screws that were the right size so I'm pre drilling the holes and then once I've got the pilot hole drilled then I'm going in and putting in the metal screw to attach the plywood to the sheet metal. There we go. So I got a few more to do and then I'll put the back piece in. Well, there's the steps and uh, pretty much the way that I think they're gonna end up being permanently installed. It seems to work for me, so we'll uh, We'll get to maybe doing that here at halftime or something. But now it's time to watch the game. So back decades ago, when I was first involved in my first nonprofit, which was the Concord Blue Devils of Concord, California, a uh, multi, more times than anybody, award-winning drum and bugle corps, uh, which I volunteered for for not more than nine years. Um, I got the nickname Carpet King, and that was because I carpeted the inside of both Big Blue as well as Two Blue, both equipment trucks, with carpeting to help protect the instruments in the cases. Well, I've re, uh, revised or reprised my role as Carpet King, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of carpeting inside the motorhome. So you'll see that I've got uh, two panels cut out already and then you might be able to see it over there by the measuring devices and the cutting uh, knife, the third panel that I'm gonna cut out. And um, those are gonna be going into the stairwell. So uh, with my favorite tool of the trade, a carpet knife and contact cement, as well as the cheapest paintbrush that I can find, I'll be putting those panels in this afternoon to help to bring the uh, um, staircase to its final appearance. And so we'll uh, check that out as I get that put in here in a little bit. Well, for those of you that are my drum corps friends from uh, Blue Devils uh, back in the day, um, as I said, I'm reprising my role as Carpet King and here I am with my trusty can of contact cement. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, put contact cement on the two surfaces and then we'll put the piece of carpet in. So the first thing I do is the uh, contact cement dries slower on hard surfaces, poor, hard surfaces like this plywood here. So I put it on the plywood first and I uh, basically do a picture frame with an X in the middle of it. And uh, 
this is a process that, as I said, I kind of started this process back in the day when I was involved with the Concord Blue Devils. And the process really hasn't changed over the years. So uh, I just put the contact cement on and then I let it dry and set up and uh, so it will be uh, nice and tacky for me here shortly. It's getting late in the day so it's uh, not going to uh, get tacky quite as quickly as it would if it were 85 out, but uh, I'll be able to nonetheless get the desired effect. Now I do the same thing on the carpet that's going to go in the peat in the location. And I do the same sort of picture frame set up because I want it to stick to all of the um, sections of plywood because this is all part of an effort to reduce sound. Um, the uh, Allegro bus has always been a uh, pretty quiet rig and just because I'm doing this modification I don't want that to change so I'm trying to do everything that I can by putting in plywood to dampen any metal rattling and putting in carpet so that uh, there's no other sort of wood rattling going on so as you see, I've got my frame on one side here, and and uh, it's kind of thick over here, and then my X in the middle. So we'll uh, let that uh, get tacky, and then we'll put it in. Okie dokie. Well, it's time to put this piece of carpet in, so let's see how it goes. So i got to be sure that I put it in correctly. Uh, fat side of glue to the fat side of the glue. And it's slightly large, but that's okay. It's better to have it be slightly too big than not big enough. So I take my carpet knife and I simply push down the carpet to try to make sure that We've got good adhesion on all aspects of it. And so I then take, once I got it kind of tucked in there, I then trim it. First, get it a little loose. And voila. Well, there it is. The carpet's all in. Those two cutouts are where the uh, stair lights are. And I've got a little wiring I need to do to fix those up. So, um, I've got to kind of not finish that up quite yet, but at any rate, just uh, showing that uh, we're making progress here and everything's uh, coming along like I'd hoped. And just a real quick look at what it looks like with the stairs in. Um, so we've got uh, more to come.
Well, as well as you can see, things are starting to take shape here. The uh, I got the flooring in on the bottom, and then the two by twelve or two by eights are resting on top of it with their appropriate um, stuff on top of them. So it's definitely coming together. Well, as you can see, the steps are just about done. I uh, have some things just kind of resting there, but uh, I'm gonna attach the carpet to the kick plates and nail down the uh, step tops, and then we're all good with this project. So this is the underside of the uh, new stairway. And you can see on the right hand side of the image the weld line for the uh, bottom plate. And you can see off towards the left where the old bottom plate was the entryway. And then in the center part of the screen you can see the, uh, the new plate. And I painted that with some Rust-Oleum bed liner paint and also squirted up around the welds and everything made sure that I had some split loam to keep the wires separated. And so you can see we got that all done. And then the back over here, um, I can't really get the light to light it up very well, but um, the, uh, the back kick plate, I also painted that as well. So it's, it's all protected from, uh, Corrosion and stuff. So well, there it is. Got the uh, stairway reconfigured. So actually, pretty happy with the way it came out, and uh, I think it looks fairly nice. Um, yeah, like I said, just really happy with the way it came out. So, like I said, I'm really happy with the way these steps came out. I just I couldn't have been happier with the way they came out. It was uh, a project that, like I said in the beginning, was something that I'd had in mind for quite a while. And everything came together. And the cool thing is, is on the day that we did all that welding work and, and putting in the new, new material, we didn't have to make one trip to the hardware store. I managed to get all the parts and materials that we needed before the trip. So, uh, before the trip, before the work on the steps. So I'm very happy with the way they came out and the fact that we got it done, um, so seamlessly. So any rate, be sure to, uh, check out my channel below, subscribe to my channel and, uh, I'll be seeing you down the road. Take care, safe travels. Bye-bye.